Welcome to this complete informative guide about Madrid, Spain. Nestled in the heart of the Iberian Peninsula, Madrid stands tall as the capital of Spain, brimming with a rich tapestry of cultural, political and economic significance. As a city, Madrid is a symphony of contrasts. It's where the old world charm seamlessly blends with a modern cosmopolitan flair. Madrid is a city that truly never sleeps with a vibrant life pulsating through its wide boulevards and winding alleys. It offers a diverse palette of experiences from awe-inspiring architecture to world-class museums, from gastronomical delights to a buzzing nightlife. Whether you're a history buff, a foodie or an art enthusiast, Madrid has something to offer for every discerning traveler. In Madrid, every stone tells a story, every square invites you to linger, and every meal is a celebration. Fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this exciting journey through Madrid, the heart of Spain. Madrid's history is as diverse and vibrant as the city itself. Let's journey back to its humble beginnings to a time when the area was first settled by the Moors in the 9th century. They saw the strategic value of this central location and decided to construct a fort, laying the foundations for what we now know as the vibrant city of Madrid. From this modest Moorish fort, Madrid grew and evolved, its fortunes waxing and waning with the tides of history. In the 16th century, under the rule of the Habsburgs, Madrid was declared the capital of Spain. This marked the start of a golden age for the city. The Habsburgs, also known as the Austrians, left an indelible mark on Madrid, contributing greatly to its architectural splendor. The Royal Palace, Plaza Mayor, and many other iconic landmarks were born during this era, giving the city its distinctive historical charm. As time marched on, the Habsburg dynasty gave way to the Bourbons in the early 18th century. This change of reign brought a fresh wave of cultural and architectural influences from France. Madrid began to take on a more cosmopolitan identity, as the Bourbons commissioned and constructed grand boulevards, beautiful parks, and iconic structures like the Prado Museum. However, Madrid's history is not all grandeur and glory. The city has seen its share of strife, especially during the Spanish Civil War in the late 1930s. This tumultuous period left deep scars, but Madrid, resilient as ever, bounced back, rebuilding and reinventing itself once more. In the post-war years, Madrid underwent a period of rapid modernization, transforming into the bustling global city we see today. Despite this growth, it has never lost sight of its historical roots. The blend of old and new, the coexistence of history and modernity is what makes Madrid such a fascinating city. Indeed, Madrid's rich history has shaped the city as we know it today. This captivating blend of the past and the present, the scars and the splendor, the tales of kings and commoners, all contribute to the unique tapestry that is Madrid. Madrid's culture is a delightful blend of the old and the new. This city is an enchanting canvas of traditions and modernity, where history intersects with the future, creating a unique cultural landscape that is truly Madrid. An undeniable cornerstone of Madrid's cultural identity is its world-class museums. The Prado Museum, the crown jewel of Madrid's museum district, houses an extensive collection of European art, dating from the 12th to the early 20th century. The Reina Sofia, another cultural powerhouse, is dedicated to contemporary art, boasting works from legendary artists like Picasso and Dali. But Madrid's culture is not confined to the quiet halls of museums. The city's love for football is palpable, with the fierce rivalry between Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid adding an electrifying energy to the city. The beauty of Madrid's culture is that it's not just observed, it's lived. The city's vibrant nightlife is testament to this. In Madrid, life doesn't stop when the sun goes down. Instead, it shifts to the rhythm of flamenco guitars and the chatter of late-night tapas bars. And then there are the city's famous festivals, each one a vibrant display of Madrid's cultural richness. San Isidro, the city's biggest festival, is a celebration of Madrid's patron saint, filled with traditional music, dances, and a grand procession. The Madrid Gay Pride, one of the biggest in the world, is a jubilant affirmation of diversity and love, painting the city in rainbow colors every summer. What's remarkable about Madrid's cultural landscape is how it intertwines the past and the present, the traditional and the modern. It's a city where you can find centuries-old traditions being celebrated with the same enthusiasm as a football match or a contemporary art exhibition. In Madrid, culture isn't just observed, it's lived. 
Whether you're standing in awe of a masterpiece at the Prado, cheering for your favorite football team, dancing the night away, or joining in the city's vibrant festivals, you're not merely a spectator, you are a part of Madrid's living, breathing culture. Madrid is a food lover's paradise. And it's not just a paradise, it's a culinary journey that takes you from the heart of Spain to the edges of gastronomical adventure. Whether you're a fan of traditional fare or a seeker of avant-garde cuisine, Madrid has a seat for you at the table. Let's start with the city's classic offerings. Madrid is the birthplace of tapas, small plates meant for sharing, and every Madrileno has their favorite tapas bar. Picture this, you're standing at a bustling counter, ordering patatas bravas, small potatoes in a spicy tomato sauce, or gambas al ajillo, garlic prawns sizzling in olive oil. The atmosphere is lively, the wine is flowing, and the food, oh the food, is a symphony of flavors that sings Spain. But our culinary journey doesn't stop at tapas. Madrid is home to the famed cochido madrileño, a hearty stew that's a riot of textures and tastes. It's a three-course meal in one pot, starting with a soothing noodle soup, followed by vegetables and chickpeas, and ending with a variety of meats. It's a culinary experience that's as rich and layered as the history of Madrid itself. And then there's churros con chocolate, a dessert that's not just a sweet treat, but a cultural experience. Imagine biting into a warm, crispy churro, then dipping it into a cup of thick, velvety chocolate. It's a combination that's as delightful as a flamenco dancer's twirl. But Madrid's culinary scene isn't just about tradition. It's also a hotbed of innovation, with several Michelin-starred restaurants pushing the boundaries of Spanish cuisine. From molecular gastronomy to reinterpretations of classic dishes, these restaurants offer a culinary experience that's both familiar and surprising. So whether you're tucking into a plate of tapas at a centuries-old bar, savoring a cochido madrileño at a family-run restaurant, dipping churros into a cup of chocolate at a bustling churreria, or enjoying a multi-course meal at a Michelin-starred establishment, you're not just eating food in Madrid. You're partaking in a cultural feast, a gastronomical spectacle, a culinary fiesta. In Madrid, every meal is a celebration. Now let's make your Madrid adventure as smooth as possible. The best time to visit Madrid really depends on what you're after. If you're keen on experiencing the city's vibrant festivities, plan your visit in May, when the city celebrates the San Isidro Festival. If you prefer a more temperate climate, spring and fall are ideal, with plenty of sunshine and fewer crowds. Summer can be quite hot, but don't worry, the locals have perfected the art of the siesta to beat the heat. Getting around Madrid is a breeze thanks to its extensive public transport network. The city's metro system is one of the best in the world, providing efficient and affordable transportation across the city. Don't forget to grab a Tarjeta Multi, a rechargeable travel card which can be used on all forms of public transport. And if you're in the mood to explore the city at your own pace, why not rent a bike or simply take a leisurely stroll? Madrid is a very pedestrian-friendly city with plenty of parks and plazas to enjoy. Now, let's touch on safety. While Madrid is generally safe, it's always wise to be vigilant, be aware of your surroundings, especially in crowded tourist areas where pickpockets may be active. Keep your belongings close and avoid flashy displays of wealth. The locals are warm and welcoming, always ready to lend a helping hand, so don't hesitate to ask for assistance if needed. One more thing, don't miss the chance to learn a few Spanish phrases. Even a simple hola or gracias can go a long way in making connections. The madrileños, as the locals are called, appreciate the effort and it makes navigating the city a little more fun. Lastly, embrace the Spanish rhythm of life. Enjoy a late dinner, take a siesta and don't rush. Madrid is a city that never sleeps, but it also knows how to slow down and savor the moment. With these tips, you're all set for your Madrid adventure. Madrid, a city where history, culture and gastronomy meet. We've traversed through time, exploring the rich tapestry of Madrid's past, a narrative woven with the threads of kingdoms, revolutions and resilient spirit. We've wandered through its bustling plazas and quiet corners, each a testament to Madrid's vibrant cultural landscape, where art, music and life blend into a symphony of colours. We've savoured the flavours of Madrid, tasted its culinary delights, from the humble tapas to the exquisite cochido madrileño, each dish a story of tradition and innovation. 
We've shared tips for navigating this magnificent city, from planning your visit to immersing yourself in the local life. Madrid is not just a city, it's an experience, a feeling, a story waiting to be discovered. Its charm lies not just in its grand monuments or its bustling streets, but in its spirit, in its people, in its soul. So there you have it, a glimpse into the soul of Madrid. We hope to see you here soon.